Coffee Talk without the coffee breath with Mr. Anger. And we're on pace. Physical Science 1109. Right before the last checkup is a page that a lot of students have trouble with doing calculations with significant figures. We have two rules that we need to keep straight. This is the most confusing part about this. Knowing if we are adding and subtracting or for multiplying and dividing. And if you're adding or subtracting, there's one rule that applies. And you've got to remember this one rule and apply it to every single addition or subtraction problem. And that is this, that you look at the place value. We're not counting the significant figures. You look at the place value and find the measurement with the least accurate measurement, okay? Least number of decimal places, shall we say? And that's the place value that you round your answer off to. So let's try this first one here. If I add these, we'll get 5.67 millimeters. But we look at the place value and realize this one was carried out to the hundredths place, but this one was only measured accurately to the tenths place. And so we're looking at place value, we have to round our answer to the least accurate place value. So in this case, it's going to be the tenths place. So the answer becomes 5.7 millimeters. Let's do this addition over here. This one has ones uh, in the tenths place, one digit in the tenths place. This one carries all the way out to the hundredths place. This one there's no decimals, it's just to the nearest gram. So when I add these together, I need to round that to the nearest gram. So we're going to round this to 160 because this is the least accurate measurement, least number of decimal places or least accurate measurement. Now, this brings up something interesting because in this case, if I have that arrow coming in from the Atlantic Ocean, it pops out and it looks like I only have two significant figures, but actually it's been measured accurately to the nearest gram. So to indicate that, I need to put a bar on top of that measurement, <coughs> on top of the ones place. And then with subtracting, in this case here, when we subtract, we're going to get 24,000, but which is the least accurate measurement? This was measured to the nearest, oops, I forgot to put measurements here. Let's say these are in meters. So this would be uh, to the nearest meter. This one was to the nearest 10 meters. So the answer is going to be to the nearest 10 meters. So I put the bar over the tens. All right, so let's review that again. For place value, when I'm adding and subtracting, you look at the least accurate measurement, and that limits your answer. Now let's jump over here to multiplying and dividing. Here, we do the multiplication or division, just use your calculator, divide it out, multiply it out, but then you count how many significant digits are in each of the measurements, and you take the least number of significant figures. So I'm gonna grab my calculator here. Let's try this first calculation, 14.7 times 4, and I get 58.8. How many significant figures, this would be meters squared, meters times meters, how many significant figures in this number, Michael? Three. Three. How many in this one, Tommy? One. Two. We have two. So I have to limit my answer to two significant figures. So round that off to two significant figures, what would that be? 59 <coughs> meters squared. Let's take this one, 22.3 times 5, and we get 111.5 one, one, one centimeters squared. How many significant figures in this one? Three. Again, this one's two. Ah, what do I do here now? I have 111.5, but I need to round it off to two significant figures. Do you have any idea? What are the first two significant figures in this number? 
I'm going to take the 1 and the next one, but then the next place value has to become a 0. Because now I have two significant digits in the answer. So I've rounded it off to the nearest tens. If this third digit had been a 5 or more, then I would have to round that up to 120. So again, we're looking at how many significant figures we count them. We have three here. We have two significant figures here. So the final answer can only have two significant figures. Make sure you include the units as part of your answer in these measurements. Now let's take this one, 691 times 2. And we get 1, 3, 8, 2. And notice this one's not a measurement. This is just a plain old number, 2. This has a measurement of meters. I only look at the measurements to count the significant figures. A number like 2 is considered to have an infinite number of significant figures. So how many significant figures here? <coughs> 3. So I need to round the answer to have how many significant figures? Tommy? Three. So round that to 3 significant figures, what would you get? One, three, eight, and this is 1,382, so this is going to be 1,380. Right, you have to keep the numbers in the same place value. And now let's try this last one, 18.3 divided by 2.2, you get 8.3188. And that just keeps repeating. And that's going to be grams over centimeters cubed. How many significant digits in this first one? Three. The one we're dividing by? Two. So how many can I have in the answer? Michael? I can only have two. So round this off to two significant figures. What would it be? 8.3 grams over cubic centers. It's not, it's not to two decimal places, it's two significant figures. So here's one, here's the second one, and we're done. So let's review the rules again real quick. When we are adding or subtracting, we look at the measurements and look at the least number of decimal places or the least accurate place value, and that's the place value that limits our answer. If we're multiplying or dividing, we count the significant digits in all the measurements and you take the least number of significant digits in any of those measurements, and that's what limits your answer. All right, try that now on the page U. Make sure you understand it and get them correct before you try to do the checkup. And there are several of these on the PACE test as well.